Hello viewers, and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this episode today, I've got not a very palatable news for people that want to come into Canada, for foreign nationals that want to come into Canada. This is not really a good news. And no thanks to the new variant that was just discovered somewhere in Africa that is called Omicron variant. So I've got this news for you. For those that want to come into Canada, Canada just banned some African countries, like 10 African countries. You can't come in from, if you are from any of these 10 countries, you can't come into Canada. And also in this video, I'll be telling you the antidote, what you can actually do if you are from any of these 10 countries, what you can actually do to break that. So make sure you watch till the end. I'll be telling you the tip on how to go about it. <laughs> Hello viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I still remember my humble self, MC Bernardino. This is Canada Reality, where I dish out content for those that are in Canada and those that are aspiring to migrate into Canada. Is this your first time on this YouTube channel? Please do me the honor. Hit on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that anytime I drop a video, you'll be among the first to get it. And if you enjoyed this video, please smash on the likes button and don't forget to share with whoever you feel will benefit from it. Thank you very much. All right, so just like I said that, um, so a few... Uh, a few day, weeks ago, I mean not up to a month, a new variant of COVID-19 was discovered in the South Africa and it is tagged by who, what the health organization as Omicron variant. It was discovered in South Africa and now it's beginning to spread to some African countries and even European countries. And most of these European countries and uh, first world country, they are now beginning to take big step now by banning people from any of these African countries that has a high prevalence of Omicron and Canada is not left out and on November 30th, Canada placed a ban no, actually not to wait, it was on November 20, 26 or 25 Canada placed a ban on 7 African countries that their nationals or anybody that has visited, visited any of these 7 countries cannot come into Canada and on November 30th, which was a few days ago Canada placed a ban on three additional countries in Africa, making 10 countries in Africa that their foreign nationals or anybody that has visited any of these 10 countries cannot come to Canada. They are banned from coming into Canada indefinitely. So which are the 10 countries? They are Nigeria, Egypt, Malawi, South Africa, Mozambique, Botswana, Lesotho, Zimbabwe, Namibia, and Eswatini. So these are the 10 con African countries that have been restricted, been banned as the case is. They cannot come, foreign nationals from any of this country or even if you are not a foreign, you are not a uh, citizen of any of this country, if you have visited any of these countries that I've just mentioned in the last 14 days, you cannot come into Canada. No matter your COVID-19 status, you cannot come into Canada. All right, so here is the exception. So if you are a permanent resident of Canada, you are a citizen of Canada, or you are an Aboriginal, that means you are an indigenous of Canada, you are exempted from this rule. So that implies that if you are any of these three that I just mentioned, and you have visited any of these 10 countries, you can still come into Canada. But before you take that step, you need to get a PCR test before you take your flight. And whichever country you're, uh, you're taking a transition flight or if it's not a direct flight, you have to take a test. And when you eventually land in Canada, you need to have a quarantine plan in place because you'll be tested. I need to have a quarantine in place so that before your test PCR test comes out, you have a hotel that you've already booked for yourself. So that means that only permanent resident citizen or indigenous people of Canada can come into Canada if they have visited any of these 10 countries. Apart from that, foreign nationals, you cannot come. Okay, so you might want to ask me that what is the implication of this? The implication of this is simply put that visitors, international, uh, for international students, uh, if you are a foreign national, you are not a permanent resident, a citizen or aboriginal of Canada, you cannot come into Canada for now. If you have visited any of these 10 countries or you've been to any of these countries, 10 countries, in the last 10 days, you cannot come into Canada. That is very sad. That is the news we got and I like to share it with you.
Okay, so you might want to ask me this question that, okay, so what is next? What should I do? What can I do? All right, so here is what I feel you can do. So if you, as an international student, because I'm more concerned about international students, some of them, they already booked their flight already, or permanent residents that are coming to land in Canada, they've already booked their flight already. I know some friends of mine that their parents probably coming to come and help support the family. They've booked the flight already. So this is what you can actually do. So if you are from any of these 10 countries, or you've visited any of these 10 countries, and you want to come into Canada because you need to come now. What you can actually do is this. Simply just book a flight to any other countries apart from these 10 countries. So if you are coming, if you are from Africa, you're coming from Africa because this affects Africa the most. So you can actually take, for instance, you're from Nigeria. You can actually book a flight, go to Ghana. So when you go to Ghana, Ghana, you need to probably stay in Ghana with a friend or put up in the hotel as the case is. Stay there for a minimum of 14 days. Then from there, you can book a flight to Canada. How does that sound to you? If you are from the southern part of Africa, go to a neighboring countries that is not part on the list of these 10 countries. Book your flight there. Stay like stay there for a minimum of 14 days, 15 days as the case is. Then from that country, book your flight and come to Canada. So with that, you've been able to negate that aspect that says that if you have been to any of these 10 countries and you've been there for 10, 14 days, you can't come. Because you have left that country and you've been in another country that is not on the list for a minimum of 14 days, then you can book your flight from that country, which is not on the list, and you can come into Canada. If you don't understand this, you need further explanation, drop it in the comment section. I will answer that question. In addition to this, another thing you need to know is that if you are coming into Canada, please do not book Egypt here, especially for those that are coming from Africa. You can't book Egypt here because Egypt is on the list. Ethiopia is not on the list, so you can actually use Ethiopia here because those are the two airlines that are more significant with Africans that are coming into Canada. So. Egypt here is out of the way. Ethiopian is not on the list. So Ethiopian for now, you can actually book the flight and use Ethiopian airline or you can use any foreign airline that suits you. Something you need to know again is that you need to act very fast. If you want to follow this pathway that I just recommended, you need to do it very fast because we don't know. By the time we wake up tomorrow, some of these African countries that are not on the list might be included in this uh, in this uh, in the list of banned by Canada and also another thing we do not know is that some of these other countries that I told you to go to they might actually be banning some of these other 10 countries too so take for instance Ghana can say Nigerians cannot come into Ghana too so you have to watch out for that and you need to act as soon as possible because delay is dangerous okay viewers I hope you actually understood the video that I brought for you telling you that Canada have restricted a ban foreign nationals from 10 countries in Africa they cannot come into Africa, they cannot come into Canada until further notice. We don't know how long that is going to take. The last time they banned India, it took almost three, four, five months. So we don't know how this one is going to take. And I also, in this video, I told you what you can actually do to negate that. To if you are caught in the web, what you can actually do to rescue yourself. If you have any other question, please drop it in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, please smash on the likes button. And if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Hit on the subscribe button, turn the notification bell so that anytime I drop a video, you'll be among the first to get it. And if you enjoyed this video, please share it with whoever you feel will benefit from it. Till I come back to you again on this YouTube channel, I remain your one and only MC Bernardino. See you in Canada very soon.